afternoon, everyone. This is Bla FM. It's me, your first presenter, Millie Lapla. We have a lot of stuff in store for you today. First of all, I'll pass you on to Gabriella, who is going to interview Louise, who works here in reception in Little Daisies. Hello, today I have Louise with me and I'll be asking her some questions. So, Louise, do you like your job and why? I love my job. I love working with all the children and all the families down in Little Daisy's childcare. Lovely. How long have you been working here? I've been working here since 2010. So it's a good many years now, yeah. seven going on eight years. Good while. What is your favourite part of your job? My favourite part of the job is where I love seeing all the children laughing and having fun and enjoying their time when they're in Little Daisies. Lovely. When did you apply for the job? I applied for the job in August of 2010 and I started at the 1st of September 2010. Okay. Would you recommend this job to anyone? I would, yes. It's great to see the children being so happy, they learn so much, to just to see the interactions with all the children and with the staff members as well. It's just like one big community. And have you made any new friends in this job? Oh, I've made many friends, many, many friends from staff members to parents to youth workers to, I suppose, everyone coming in the door or youth needs. It's very, very busy centre. Mm. Well, that's all we have for today. So thanks, Louise. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Gabriella and Louise, for that interview. Before we move on, just a quick weather update. So, cloudy wet shower, highest temperatures of up to 8 degrees Celsius. Now, get your dancing shoes on and get ready to dance to an Irish jig performed by Ileana. Wow, that was great. Now I'll pass you on to Alexandra who is going to be interviewing Mandy Tighe who works in Gory Youth Needs. Hello, my name is Alexandra Cromie and today I'm here with Mandy from Gory Youth Group. So, um, Mandy, who started the youth group? The youth group was started in 1995 by a group of people in Gory that recognised there was a need for youth services. And why did you decide to join the group? Uh, I moved back from England um, 11 years ago and I started work with Gory Youth Needs Group um, and I was studying youth and community work at the time and it was just something that I always wanted to do. And do you enjoy working here? I do. I love my job. And why? Because I get to meet lots of lovely young people like you and every day is different. No day is the same. And you just don't know what's going to come in the door that day. So you have to deal with everything on its own merit. So what's the most exciting thing happening in Youth Club at the moment? <sighs> Two fabulous new youth workers called Niall and Wendy have joined us. And we have a lovely girl called Patricia on placement as well. So we have a new, new energy, a new vibe coming to the Youth Club. And what job did you want when you were younger? I did want to be an art teacher and I went to art school but then it didn't really work out and then I went into social care and then youth work. Thank you Mandy that is all for today. Thank you. That was a great interview Alexandra. We'll be having a very interesting conversation after the ads. Have you ever wanted perfect hair? Well now you can just come down and buy a bucket of dirt. Just rub it in your hair and then you will have hair just like Tarzan. Perfect, right? Terms and conditions reply. No refunds to order online. Call 777-444-330 or go to www.totallyperfecthair.com. Oh, I want my hair just like Tarzan's. What about you, Ileana? I agree. And if you were wondering, it's your second presenter, Ileana Hoji Durkin. Before we say goodbye to Millie, 
I have a quick question. Sure, go ahead. Well, what if all teachers were aliens? Imagine, what if there's a planet called Teacher Planet and each alien was created to look like each and every teacher in this world? The night before a teacher started a job, the alien would come down and kidnap them and take their place. If that was real, oh my God. Well, if that was real, here are some things you would want to know about recognizing them. Big nose. Dark, long hair. Tall. I mean, really tall. <laughs> so, keep your eyes open and check if your teacher's an alien. So, now, Alexandra and I asked a couple of people, big and small, how many Easter eggs do they think they're going to get this year? None, because the chances are my tape won't buy me one. One, because my wife will buy me one. Five. I don't know. Five or four, because it's going to be Easter? None, because I don't have money. About seven, because I have a lot of family and I always get loads of Easter eggs. Seven, because I have loads of family, but I wish I had 10,000. None, because Easter eggs are bad for you. How many Easter eggs? Well, I've already eaten one Easter egg nearly every night for the past two weeks because they were five or five euros up in Tesco's and I bought them for my little cousins, but I ended up eating most of them. So I'm hoping to get around another ten, hopefully, off Easter Bunny so I can give them out then to my little cousins. Wow, what a great deal in Tesco. So, while I pop down Tesco and get some Easter eggs, get ready for some more Irish music performed by Ella. was great, Ella. Now, Millie's going to interview Clayton Murray. Uh, let's see what an, what an 11-year-old does in his spare time these days. Hi, Millie Leffler here, and I'm here interviewing Clayton Murray. So, Clayton, what are your hobbies? Badminton, swimming, and music. Cool. Do you like school and why? I love school because it's fun. What's your favourite subject? Maths. Okay, um... What's your favourite movie at the, like at the moment? Tomb Raider because it's really fun. Okay, fun. your favourite game? Overwatch. What's that? What to say? Overwatch. Okay, can you explain how you play the game to me? There is a lot of different modes. So just saying there's a lot of modes. Mostly the main mode is capture the point or capture the point and push the payload. Okay, um, what, and what's your favourite song at the moment? You can have more than one. I have no idea. I have a lot of them, like 20 of them. Name two of them. Uh, let her go and... God's Plan. Cool, that's the end. Thank you. Games, how am I not surprised? Just a short break and straight after the ads, we're gonna have another interview. Do you love your socks? Of course you do. But do you ever need to put something in a safe place but don't have any pockets? Well, fear no more, because now there is socks with pockets. Basically, there are socks with pockets on them. All this could be yours for only 467 euro and 11 cents. Just dial 089 255 242 or go to www.uselessstuff.ie. Terms and conditions apply plus no refunds. Man, I want those socks. So now we have our musician Ella interviewing Niall Burke who works in Gory Youth Needs. Do you have a favourite sport? I do indeed, horse riding. Even though some people don't class that as a sport, but I like to class it up there since it's in the Olympics. Do you have a favourite player? I do indeed. Uh, Robbie Keane, who plays for Ireland, football and soccer. Would you recommend this job to someone? My job as a youth worker, yes, but you have to have loads of energy and you have to like working with young people because you come across loads of different challenges every day. 
and it's always something new, new people you meet all the time. Why do you like your job? Um, I like it because it's challenging, it's working with different people, there's loads of new things to introduce to young people and the young people are always different, they have loads of energy and I kind of bounce off that, I like the, I like the crazy. How long have you been working here for? I've been working here since last November, since I got home from Australia and New Zealand and I've been working here about five months, nearly six now. What are your hobbies? My hobbies include going to the gym, I like walks on the beach and I'm trying to learn to read. I know it sounds a bit ridiculous for a 26 year old but I find it very hard to read so I'm trying to learn to read books. Why did you choose your job? I chose this job because I was here on work placement before for college and I really enjoyed working with young people. And I said I wanted to come back and give back to my own community. Welcome to today's youth. What a great interview, Ella. Now, a quick weather update. You would like to know that we are expecting heavy snowfall tonight with temperatures of minus three degrees. And now, live at the studio, we have Sean Hempenstall. So, Sean, it's nice to have you here. Hey, thanks for having me. So, Sean is an Irish singer from Gorey. I have a couple of questions for him. So, Sean, when did you start writing songs? Around 13 or 14. So, but how did you think of your first song? Uh, I think I just copied another song. I think, don't think it was a real song. Why did you decide to become a singer? Um, don't know. I, I, I was busking and this guy told me that I would probably make more money if I sang along with the music. Hmm. How did you get people to hear about you? Through Facebook and doing gigs around the town. What do you do in your spare time apart from writing songs? I hang out with my friends and skate. Do you have any plans for the future music-wise? Yeah, I'd like to go to college for music and I'd like to continue my music career further. If you could collaborate with any artist, dead or alive, who would it be? It'd be Kurt Cobain because I feel like we have similarities. Wow, thanks a million, Sean. Before we end, I would like to thank the crew sitting at the table, Ella Hempenstahl and Clayton Murray. Also, I would like to thank Kaylee Chamberlain, Gabriella Smith and Alexander Cromie. And I can't forget my co-host, Millie Lepler. I mustn't forget the people who actually helped us do this, Maita, Tony and Shane. Sean is going to play us out with his song, Plasters and Inhalers, the love song. So that's all from us. Take it away, Sean. Enjoy our day and a big goodbye from the crew. Bye. I'll be your blaster, protect you from infection. Of the minds, I'll be your inhaler to help you breathe. You're not a waste of my time. You're not a waste of. You're not a waste of my time. You're not a waste of. You're not a waste of. Oh,